wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. <laughs> Have been fought over oil. In a short matter of time, they will be fought over more. Oh shit! Which one? Twenty-three? Yeah, yeah. I'm hearing the fucking 20, Bulls championship. Twenty-three and me. Oh man. Right, and the, yeah. the laser yeah. Yeah. bowl yeah. is on the court. Right, <sighs> taken back, you know. Yeah, taken back. Yeah. I was, tell, back I was telling you earlier. Like, listen, I'm already th this whole weekend. I've already been back in those days, man. Kicked mm -hmm. up the tech mobile. Haven't put it down. That's right. I'm running. Um, we used to uh, have a proper country. Man, it's. It's wild. Like, uh, Evie was like, is it an especially good game? I'm like, it's one of the greatest games ever made. This is on the NES, and this thing is, uh, this thing's tight. Has yeah. everything you need. <laughs> you can switch out, uh, different plays, you know? You can, uh, yeah. you can swap different characters on defense, offense. Are you looking like, to run yeah. or pass? Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got everything you need, <laughs> except for uh, two point conversions. It doesn't have that, but that's okay. I think they fixed that in Super Tech Mobile. Well, yeah. Yeah. But man, like the, the feeling, the lightning that goes through your body when you, <laughs> when you, when you push a, a team back in tech mobile, hit them with the safety. Yeah. Right? And then oh, they toss, yeah. they, they, they toss to you fucking run it back for a touchdown. Nine points in a matter of seconds. <laughs> Amazing. It's his, There's nothing that replicates one of the greatest. It. One of the greatest. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm uh, Lucid Fox of uh, the Lucid Fox places on the internet, uh, Twitter, Twitch, uh, Instagram, all that stuff. Marcus, yeah, left like vets yeah. on the Twitch and the YouTubes. Yeah. We do the things. We talk the words. That's true. Man, Which so, <laughs> so many words these of, days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big week for the website. Um, yeah. <laughs> but um. I don't know. Getting into it, this the the, the first thing is it's it's uh, Julian Assange is now taking, you know, or we and that's where too. It's just like it's like the way they describe it is just so well. It's like oh yeah, he took a plea deal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like hey, you know, like he was with ten years, you know, some shit like that. Essentially, like he'd been in prison and and yeah. he he's been in for the out. past five, six, something like that. Wait, it was 2017, seven. Seven years, right? Oh, okay. I think I don't remember. Yeah, it's not been not been great for him, you know. <laughs> not maybe it's twenty nineteen. It's it's either five to seven years, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> paying well, attention. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, to be clear, I not to invest in too much in the details of it, but of like the impetus, <laughs> or at least how these things began. Right, uh, but where these, you know, I think is like really important is kind of like. What does this mean legally? Yeah. You know, I think that like, because at the end of the day, too, is like the plea deal, I don't think really allows for any like redress of wrongdoing of the United States or any no, other government for himself. We were actually know. making it harder on him, I believe. I think uh, I think it's being said that he's he's got to uh, pay for his own chartered flight to Australia now to the tune of like half a million. Oh. God damn. So they're looking for fundraising right now. Jesus Christ. So yeah, no, we we're still, you know, um and that yeah. and this is very classic for the United States like uh, whistleblowers even once, you know, they're let out of prison, we just make things worse for them. We did the same thing to Chelsea Manning, you know, to the point where she was put back into like, you know, uh confinement. Like we're just notoriously well, yeah. monsters to fucking whistleblowers. And so. this, this, yeah, because and this is where what what if any precedence does this set? Yeah, you know, like aside from hey, does does it does a person you know does a journalist right or you know you know does, does a journalist deserve to be in prison for releasing classified information that they believed was you know in the public good you know that's where these like legalese type of things for journalists whistleblowers you know all of these things is the riding the line of you know not saying you know the united states government you know unit 
X, Y, and Z is going to be performing duties in theater, you know, in the, you know, yeah. in that way, in the danger. Oh, here are the names and social security numbers of all the U.S. operatives that were engaged. You know, obviously that's where like, okay, you can't do that. Right. Can you say they were doing drone strikes on hospitals and yeah. double taps and, you know, yeah. Yeah. You know, like, here we go. All these other things that, um, you know, and then the question of what is in the public good and the First Amendment and all this type of stuff that, um, yeah, you know, like the United States talks about caring about. Yeah. In practice, if if it's deemed threatened to the United States government and not the actual operatives that may be in some type of conflict, mm -hmm. but the veneer, right? If you are in... You know, if you were dangerous to the veil of, you know, the freedom loving democracy. Yeah. Right. Then that is where the danger actually right. lies. That, that right. Perception of, yeah. you know, what we're what we're supposed to be. Yeah. And, and that's where with this, I think, and, and a lot of the other cases, right, where, you know, pardons or, you know, that's not a, oh, we're sorry, right? That's saying we're going to give you a break. Yeah. You know, this plea deal is not, oops, we, you know, yeah. this, you know, Taylor is like, he's free, but this wasn't freeing Julian Assange. No, this no, was, no, absolutely. You know, like him taking the plea and deal to say and saying, that, like, I you know, did it. A right. little, little yeah. bit, a uh, little bit of conspiracy. He was to say that he's free at this point. I mean, you know, the CIA was pretty, pretty forthright about wanting to fucking murder this guy. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know. I guess we'll find yeah. out how free he Where, is of it. And that's you know, <laughs> this podcast was recorded on Tuesday evening. <laughs> information and involvement change. Yeah, yeah, By the yeah, time yeah. you listen to it, oh, had but, nothing uh, to. We may have proximity <laughs> to likely, but had nothing to do with either of us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh that's um that's 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 the thing that and 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 to be clear of like where if if I were in his shoes and they had the option of take this plea deal go yeah. home right and basically and and give up your right to say I didn't do anything wrong. Give Correct. up your, your, any type of moral principle on, I stand on this was, you know, in the public good. You got to give that up, but you get to go, go home, right? Like, yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah, going home, but right? Free. Like, yeah, 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 <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then on is the other, other side of it, well, and this is where too, if like for Julian Assange, is that, is it worth it? Yes. What now yeah. we have to ask is for whatever journalist that may or may not, right? For Ken Klippenstein, who is actively receiving information <laughs> from people, you know, and like that are trying to whistleblow. Yeah. Does he think differently before hitting send? And that's right. That's where like this president's actually lies of. It's not just this is taking a risk of the government messing with you. Yeah. But it's also you might have to wait almost 10 years in prison for a president who is going for the second term and it is a very tight race, yeah, right? Because this yeah, is where yeah, all yeah. these other dynamics come into why now, 100%. right? Not just yeah, why, yeah, yeah. but why now? And, you know, and, and like, do you want to bet on that? If you're a journalist, you want to bet on that Biden even wins in the first place and like you're not even dealing with Trump, which this is an th absurd type of thing even still, right? Is that like what Trump said he'd free journalists on a week ago? Mm hmm. Yeah. Was Trump some things, some things to think about. Was Trump you know? president? Because, like, yeah, this and it's all this just bullshit, right? Because Trump was president. He could have done it. Obviously, he didn't. He says it by, you know, and then like, yeah, where's my Trump, tinfoil? Trump needs to talk about fucking free health care right quick, honestly. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, free. Hey, Trump needs to talk about Leonard Peltier and Mubia. Hello. Like, say it, dog. Just say it. Let's go. Yeah. Because they're my, oh, 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 fuck. Yeah. Let him out. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually. Actually, I'd like to provide free, interest-free loans to the whole 
of the African continent. Yeah. I'd like to I'd like to just like refund a lot of money and uh, wealth that we've stolen from him over the past couple of hundred years. Yeah, housing <laughs> crisis. You know? I think you heard about this the rent. Apparently the rent it's too high. Yeah. You got to bring it down. You got people got a place to live. They need a place to live. No one's talking about the wonders of China and how we need to normalize relations <laughs> with President Xi immediately and how we need to become an onboarded country with right. the communist party. There's too many billionaires in here. <laughs> I've just now noticed there's just a little too many billionaires around here. Jeff, you're next. I all like right. <laughs> I don't uh, like him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, who well, no, knows? Like, yeah, it's, um, I guess there's always going to be that speculation of, yeah, why now? Why are we, uh, why are we doing this, man? You just decide that it was, you know, politically expedient to, to let him go right now for whatever reason. Yeah. Can I get anything, man? <laughs> Where, can, we just, yeah. can we just get a better fucking world, please? Because, and that's 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 where the thing is now. Where, yeah, you know, like the more I think about it, the more I just believe it's those like brand and administration just flailing on whatever they could do to try and get like a Nikki Haley voter. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, to fucking yeah, like yeah, some yeah. shit. Like I have Jesus no idea. Christ. I have no idea what their aim is. Um but yeah, you know, it's like I just I just cannot help but think, you know, after so many years, especially too, it's like there's been, you know, a lot of, you know, good amount of protest actions that continue go on and on and on every year after year after year for, you know, the past fucking six, seven years. And like and then, you know, yeah. Well, you know, it's just like, I don't, it just, I, whatever, you know, whatever. And that's right. Like at the end of the day too, it's like, you know, anyone that is in prison for releasing information about the United States doing war crimes should not be in prison period. Full stop. Right. Yeah. And, but like, as far as for the future of empire and and people going after and releasing that information and that's where the thing too is that like maybe you know there's just ways that you know journalists or people who are doing media you know really need to consider the method and modes um in which these things operate you know and and um or just know like you're gonna have to take the hit on the jaw and hope that there's some scared president someday that's going to listen to your lawyer for once. You know, I, I, yeah. I really don't know, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, it's, I, I said it before that like happy, uh, that Assange is out of jail. If, uh, only for, you know, I don't, I never thought he should be in jail for the whistleblower stuff. I know other things. Hey, <laughs> Got some strong feelings about that, you know. You know, since we still have, live in a carceral system, or whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I as always, we are uh, incredibly vindictive towards whistleblowers in this country, and never any reason for it. And he's going to continue to get punished for you know the rest of his life for this. So yeah, I mean, that's yeah. We could hope, like, oh, hey, he just goes off to fucking Australia. Is just you know. Yeah. Just become you know just be fine. just for the racist and the you know, country with the most kill. dangerous uh, you know <laughs> yeah. dodging spiders <laughs> <laughs> yelling at indigenous people and having a wife and a kangaroo in the backyard right yeah, the Australian yeah, yeah, dream yeah, yeah. and like yeah. but like you know that's you know oh hey he's free and he gets to live his life but like we all know that that's you know. There's yeah. a good chance that he's might be you know bothered a bit by the U.S. government in the future, Absolutely. but like yeah, that's where you know in reality, winner. You know you mentioned Chelsea Manning, um, and 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 you know the others. You know that like don't get mentioned, and yeah, you know 100%. like that 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 um, yeah. You know that's where yeah. Like I, I don't know. We'll see how it yeah. goes. <laughs> well, we mentioned Biden and Trump already, and I think it's yeah. important to to sit down, take in, and realize that the debates are only forty eight hours away. Well, a little bit more, if like fifty or something, whatever. Yeah, give or take. 
ain't that far. By the time you're listening to it, this yeah, will well, be, that's will true. Be By the time it will be uh, significantly closer to. Yeah, yeah, man. Can I can I lead into this with the word on the street right now? And who knows, like the validity of of this? But the word on the street is. I mean, Trump has said himself that his VP pick should be in the audience for the debate. Uh, All right. His VP okay. pick will be present. And okay. he has even intimated that he may choose that person, you know, and announce it. Yeah. Uh, at some time soon. Um, but then the 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 whispers are that it very well may be. The person that everybody was thinking about, uh, right? That everybody was guessing that it would be, and that is, of course, Baron Trump, Ben Carson. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know the Ben Carson. The pyramids are were for grain guy. Yeah, <laughs> Ben Carson. <laughs> Which is like that's where it's like I've seen some shit where it's like, oh, Ben Carson's like back on Fox News or getting him out yeah. there or whatever the fuck. But yeah, it's like, is yeah, he really yeah. making that run? I mean, I like it makes sense, I guess, within the Trump camp to pull on somebody like Ben Carson. He's been trying to make this appeal that, you know, he would he would be more than just a uh, president for uh, for ben his Carson. white supremacist fans, you know, yeah, Ben Carson. Uh, and that's and that's why I think Tim Scott's been floating around for months and months, right? Like, yeah, well, that's this really, idea. Like, see, yeah, Tim Scott sucks. Yeah, Tim Scott sucks too. Yeah, like that's it's like Tim Scott, Marco Rubio, yeah. Ted Cruz. It's sad men. This yeah. is where like it's Just like sad uh, guys. Like I'm trying to think because like like Donald Trump does really you know exude it you know of yeah. like he is a a bully he is a strong man you've seen it all throughout whatever career and all these types of things yeah. um <laughs> god that was, was so enjoyable <laughs> about what like the 2015 did it go like primary for the republicans yeah yeah yeah, where yeah, yeah. he's just bad all Ted these Cruz people getting away. absolutely bodied oh, yeah oh marco my god. rubio yeah yeah all of them oh simply getting times. destroyed yeah um but then that's yeah yeah uh that's the thing where it's just like, yeah, like Doug Burgum, he's like another one, you know, <laughs> Burgum meant baby. I wouldn't have picked Doug Burgum. Am I the only one? I think that'd be I, funny. <laughs> I wouldn't mind Burgum. He needs that um, Sam Eagle energy on the campaign trail, you know, like Doug uh, Burgum would at least, Doug Burgum's the one guy that was on the debate stage that was like, I don't know, ever yeah. considered um, just nuking Polynesia? Well, and this is where, yeah, where like Burgum and and um Burgum and um Ben Carson. Yeah. Where I you know, you might be right as like that like those uh, like I think where like Ben Carson would be a good pick, but where like they they fall in the role of two things that he actually needs where successful and yes. Tim Scott and Byron Donalds, you're no. politicians. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you're yeah. losers. Yeah. Right? I mean, we've seen like Tim Scott's such a weird sycophant when he gets around Trump. Like, it's just it's uncomfortable, you know, oh, like it's it's God. very uncomfortable. Yeah, it Mr. is just Mr. Mr. Trump. Yeah, it's so uh, it's so, yeah. and like and, and and Marco Rubio, same thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, but so yeah, like yeah. Bergam started a company, yeah. sold it, made a shit ton of money, then did the governor thing. Right. Yeah. Like, those are the type of guys. Ben Carson. Yeah. And this is like American it, it always, dream plus like model minority type of shit from Ben Carson. Like well, that's the that's the dream for your even your white supremacist voters. They'll right. sit down and they'll be like, oh, I mean, yeah, he's doing everything yeah. the right way. Why can't they be like Ben Carson? You well, know? that's because like exactly right. And like, the thing is like where it's always shocking to say I'm just con like Ben Carson's like world renowned neurosurgeon yeah. and 
moron. Yeah. Right. And moron. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, inside yeah. of you, there are two wolves. Yeah. The person who wrote the book on like separating conjoined tins at the head and yeah. a complete dipshit yeah. that thinks they stored corn in the pyramids. Right. <laughs> like they never room for exist. anything else to study. <laughs> all he, it's all surgery up there, you know, like so, yes. surgery and vibes, baby. Yeah, but yeah. no, that's where Bergam and Bergam and, um, and Ben Carson separate themselves from, yeah. from, the rest of the politicians that are literally the thing that 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 Trump completely decimated, right? And he needed Mike Pence at that yeah. time uh, to deal, you know, get the Christian coalition. Yeah. But now he doesn't, you know, those evangelicals I mean, are his, you know, they're locked in. Yeah, they're locked in. Um, and so, yeah, where does he go from here? Are they how far do they lean in with with trying to get the black vote? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? It's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting time, man. I hope he does. I hope he does announce on uh, Thursday night. I think that would be incredibly like that would that would honestly be kind of a a sick like own on Biden to just be like. Hey, I don't really care about this debate. And also I'm turning this into my VP announcement platform. You know, yeah. what are you going to do about it? Yeah. Like that'd be, a, that'd be a crazy, just fucking one off to, to kind of, there's nothing else is going for him with, it's a CNN debate. The moderators I, are going to be, you know, incredibly where, fucking hostile towards him. Like that's where I think Trump just, I think Trump goes for the finishing move up front. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Where, you know, not, the mics don't even get to turned on, okay? But you know how Trump always tries to, like, body people when he shakes their hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to do that, and then, like, Biden's just going to, like, fall over, and, like, then the whole thing is it's going to be a giant mess, right? Yeah, hell yeah. But God. part of me believes, like, they don't even turn on the mics. There's just, like, he falls <laughs> over. There's this big thing, you know what I'm saying? There's yeah. some, for some reason some referee just, like, literally blowing a whistle, like, stop, call Man. it, no, no, no. Oh. incredible yeah yeah i um, I, I honestly yeah. do wonder like what this is going to be like you know like this is the first time that we've had like like they've both been getting progressively older but this will be the first presidential debate in anyone's lifetime where the two men on the stage are both like fucking over you know 78 years old like just circling the fucking like drain of yeah. life yeah. You know, both have been proven to be especially senile in the campaign trail. Like, it's just, man, what a fucking mess indeed it's going to be. Like, and are the are the uh, moderators going to be able to keep them in line? Like, keep them on, you know, topic? Like, what's going to, like, I just, I just got to know what's going to happen here. I, I, uh, and, and this is where it's like, e, I think, like what's probably going to happen is, you know, and this is where it's just like, I can't believe we're fucking doing it. like, what's going to happen to the old fucker debate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's probably going to be a normal fucking thing. They yell yeah. at each other. They say it's a bunch of bullshit and then they go off. Right. The thing yeah, that Biden yeah. needs to make sure is that they, he doesn't, he doesn't have a slow factory reset moment that's, where he kind of trails off. That's and the thing is where it's like, like they need to make sure Trump can't yell, "Wake up, Joe!" When yeah. he's, you know, what I'm saying, and they can still hear it from the other mic, yeah, right? Basically, like you need who's, to just avoid who's that. Who's going to get pumped with more vivance in the first, right. like, you know, a couple yeah. of minutes of the debate? That's um, going to determine who <laughs> who walks away from this shit with less for, clips floating around the internet. For Trump, you literally need to make sure he doesn't start openly talking shit with like Jake Tapper. Right? Yeah, that, and, like, yeah. It's yeah. a very low bar as long as their hearts continue to plump <laughs> blood. Like it's a very low bar for either of them. And, and this is where it's just like now I'm getting back because it's like what that no. This is where it's like too. It's like most of the country does not want either of them on stage. Yes. Yes. Very true. Right. Even with the Republicans, most of the country doesn't want this option at all. And yeah. like. Yeah, here we are. Here we find ourselves at this fucking crossroads, you know? 
Right. Yeah. In this great democracy, here we are. The this people great democracy. In this in a fantastic agreement with nothing to do but you know, with with we can do nothing about it. We just sit here, wait it out, see what happens, who yeah. survives, you know what I'm saying? And we'll just move on from there. I just man. I do think it's uh, funny that a lot of liberals are like, well, uh, Trump's just not going to show up. And I'm like, what? Why? Like, uh, like it just it's just so confusing. It's like he literally said he was going to show up to any Republican debates. Like, that's why he wasn't there. Why do you think? Yeah. What does he have to lose to, you know, to not show up to this one? Like, no, he's going to be there. Like this is this is it. Like it gets it gets the eyeballs off of people talking about his trial and everything, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it gets it get, just gets people focused on the the him. You know, being mean to Joe Biden, which is going to be great for him. I honestly don't think he has anything to to really worry about. Like from Joe Biden of all people, what's you know, how is Joe going to match uh, his energy? Like that's I think that's well, your question good. if you're a Democrat. Like. You're counting. If if you're if you're part of the Democratic Party right now, you are quite literally counting on Jake Tapper to drive an an insane fucking favorability for Biden in this. You know, you need him to keep hammering on Trump with these fucking you know questions about. Well, actually, thirty four counts. Yeah, actually, yeah, uh, January sixth. Yeah. You know, like you're gonna have to depend on that shit. Yeah, and, and and that's also going to work in Trump's favor because he's going to say this was a biased debate. They were so mean to me. They're the most unfair. It. Yeah, he's yeah. already front loading that right, and that's going to happen. So I, I mean, I don't know, man. I, like at the end of the day, I think we all like you know anybody that pays attention can agree that debates don't do shit. You know, like what what we're going to get out of this is going to be clippable moments and shit like that for the internet. As far as yeah. moving the needle, uh, well, like, the, like honestly, it is just a don't embarrass yourself. You know, yeah, like this is yeah, where it's like yeah, for, yeah. for like campaigns and all this type of shit. Where it's it's not a, like the case for like you know like for all things you know and like well actually I mean it's more true than not. Yeah, you know, anytime you are either campaigning or already in an elected office, you know, what I'm saying if there's a microphone recording, right. You're in danger, you know, yeah. and this is where like who like the the was it the guy that Jamal Bowman ran against beforehand that went to the Black Lives Matter rally and he's like I wouldn't be here yeah. unless I was getting primary. All right, listen, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, be yeah. here bothering y'all, right? And it's just like you know, yeah, um, easy. there are you know, and and who Romney knows? We can see. I mean, the, Bobert, you know, Bobert yeah. is you know, Bobert's primary today. And she had some viral moments where yeah. it was the moderator, right? That really, I mean, that honestly, moderator was that moderator, in there, man. that was crazy. <laughs> Just bend her right. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Fucking like it. And so, and that's where those 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 moments are easily avoidable, right? Yeah. You know that those are things where. Those types of moments should be easily avoidable, but we live in a country full of ghouls that have power. And so, True. and for the two extremely old ghouls that'll be, you know, arguing with, you know, who knows where, like, and that's where it's like, who knows what straw man they're going to just prop up for, you know, that's like, oh, well, I'm this guy and that guy, or whatever. But at the end of the day, they're just both trying to avoid the worst thing happening, which is like either of them having a heart attack locking up and freezing going on with some rambling fucking thing where they end up just lying about a bunch of shit yeah and, you know like those are the things hey, fingers crossed like, the cannibal story out of biden again come on hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes let's go one more dude. time run that back man yeah, exactly i want to hear the details right what did <laughs> uncle jimmy tell you about it um yeah but um but no, and that's and it's all just like, you know, forever a little bit more disappointing in like this, like where our, our society is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, you know, just really kind of drilling down on like, look at what's going on between these debates and the Supreme Court, you know, the fact that you've got, you know, 
Yeah, like, you know, when MTG literally is like pairing, you know, she is friends with a neo Nazi. Yeah. And then her party allows her to be in, you know, power positions, right? This Mike Johnson guy is a religious zealot, and we know that. And he helped write up all the stuff for the overturning of elections, you know, and then like, but like, here we are with the Democrats going hand in hand, Hakeem Jeffries saving, say, you know, yeah. saving Johnson from MTG, you know, and it's just like, all of these things are going on. And like, you know, it doesn't just, it doesn't bode well, you know, it just doesn't bode well. It does, I think, does you know, not. Yeah. It is, man. Yeah. What a fucking, what an absolute mess of election season this is, honestly. It's so crazy to think about. Although, and I'm sorry, just before we move on to the next yeah, thing, because yeah, it was a yeah. crazy election scene, but where Bob Good, the chair of the Freedom Caucus, yeah, the guy you know who came after Kevin McCarthy. But here's the thing: is that I know Kevin McCarthy was spending a lot of money trying to go after like Bob Good, Nancy Mace, you know. Yeah. But the what did he do? He went for DeSantis, and then Trump said. Random other guy. Yeah. And then you got the guy, like, he's the chair of the Freedom Caucus, and <sighs> we'll see ya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Kind of. I call him <laughs> bad. bad. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> Man, this guy did, really did ruin this motherfucking like party so much. It's oh my god, man! Yeah. It's very, it's very funny stuff. <clears throat> he really has just kind of you know, it already was just uh like on paper, like uh, obviously in back rooms and everything. Fed things like Federal Society, Heritage Foundation, all these people like move and shake and try to like acquire power in times of chaos, but. Like overall, like he's he's just ruined like the face of the party. Oh yeah, you know. Well, that's like, where. I mean, even where it's just like it's like maybe you like it might have ruined heritage, you know? It's like I mean, maybe say, yeah. Ruined like it, I don't know? think like, I don't think they'll get another Mitch McConnell anytime in the near future. You know, like we've talked about oh. this before. It might just be fucking Tommy Tuberville. All right, like that. Might, <laughs> I, my God, <laughs> they like, might just have coach. You know, and it's yeah. like. They will not have an effective, like, fucking sword for quite a while. And it's all because of this guy. Well, man, you know, this is where it's like, I don't know if they're like, I I, I do need to, like, look into this because it's just like, this is, you know, where I don't know if there's, like, some type of, like, pa- political power, like, political theory over, like, power, you know, over, like, the main, you know, um, hegemonic power or whatever. But yeah. it's like this thing where it's just like once you achieve dominance, yeah, that you know, there's an ego, you know, you know, at least dominance that'll bring to confidence, that will bring to egotistical ignorance. Yes. You know, and then like once you hit the egotistical ignorance, you you know, you've got just violent fumbling giant that I think that like the United States that like we're like just there, you know, we're in and there's just nothing you could do about it. We like the mechanisms don't allow for correction, right? Most Americans don't want these two people as president. And the system will not allow us for any type of course correction. Yeah. You know, the Supreme Court is is obviously bought and paid for. Yeah. And the system doesn't allow for course correction. Yeah. You know, and and I, and all I can do is talk about it because I'm a podcaster, right? Yeah. And like, yeah. here we are, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, here we are just looking at it, man. You know, I can't, <laughs> I can't really do anything else. I cannot affect the, you know. Again, uh, everybody, everybody that harangues me until, uh, until voting day, like, well, you guys should vote. I'm like, hey, brother, I'm not the one doing the system right now. You might talk to them and why, you know. Yeah. Like I got a, I got a, a text from some Biden canvasser. Uh, yesterday, and they were like, "Hey, Lucid, can we count on you to, you know, donate twenty five dollars to the campaign?" Joe Biden is getting outspent by uh, Donald Trump now, and I was like, "Damn, you better do something to earn my uh, earn my money." Then yeah. uh, <laughs> and that's where too it was like outspent. Well, then spend more money. Yeah, like what are you guys doing? 
Why is he out raising you right now? Like, what's happening? It's fucking. This guy doesn't even have any fucking millionaire donors, right? Zero. Zero Fortune 500 fucking donors. I've, How are you I've getting hunters, out spent? How you getting yeah, out raised? Have, have Hunter go out there and do the thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Show that like, fucking. Swing the hog, baby. <laughs> Bring in the fucking cash. Release the hogs, huh? I don't know. That's not my get problem. Get Biden on OnlyFans, too. I don't know, man. I don't know what you're going to fucking. This is where the thing is, too, right? Where it's just like, hey, man, you know. Like, it is one thing if, like, if, if you stand up and say, hey, I don't take pac bunny, I don't take big bundlers, you know, whatever the hell, like, this is how, you yeah. know, my campaigns are financed. Yeah. That's one thing. I'm this sorry. is the like, guy that Biden. just had a multi-million dollar fundraiser. Yeah. Some no. of the wealthiest fucking uh, Democratic donors. Don't it's even like, look. Yeah. Don't come at me. Yeah. All right. If you're you know, like that, even you know, you're you're a senator with one of the NASCAR jackets, like full of patches of <laughs> of Exxon and you know all that. Nah. Nah. Yeah. You know, like don't right. Like, oh, like yeah, don't you come to me. Get a vote right, but don't text my phone. Yeah. You know, because yeah, like, you, like, you got money. You know, you got money. Shut up. Yeah. And the thing is, too, where it's just like, even it's like Chuck Schumer, like they don't, like the DNC, too, they waste it. They waste it. Yeah. Like, fuck. Yeah. I can't think of it. There's like the guy that was running against Ron Johnson. What do you mean? And, uh, whoa, whoa, Marcus. What do you mean? There's a lot of good money being spent right now to primary an incumbent <sighs> Democrat. In yeah. New York, all right. That's a lot of that's a lot of worthwhile campaign funding right now. Okay, where like this is where it's just like the only thing good, or like where you know where does horseshoe theory exist within yeah. Hillary Clinton and her politics, right? Absolutely. Where she's so dog shit about politics, yep. she doesn't realize Vengeful she is a her bane. Politics. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. She doesn't even know, so she thinks she's trying to help, and it's just like once Hillary gets involved, it's like okay, it's a good sign. Yeah, this is gonna be a good sign, right? Because like, who knows? But she comes in and says, "Hey, fucking, you know, like the 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 challenger for for Jamal Bowman." Yeah, well, he's good. Latimer. We gotta get him out yeah. of here. Vladimir, Vladimir, yeah. Vladimir. Vladimir Putin. It's George Latimer. Yeah, Latimer. Yeah, another corrupt piece of shit. Right, Ra- corrupt racist piece of shit. Corrupt racist. Why well, I don't, I don't yeah, know what you know it what is, saying? man. The guys that keep running against Jamal Bowman, they've all got some problems with uh, black folks. It's wild. Because <laughs> the thing is, though, it's just like, you want to know how I know New York is segregated as fuck? Ooh, God, man. It's crazy, actually. Because like, <laughs> these motherfuckers are still out here just existing without yeah. being slapped, yeah. right? And I'm not yeah. advocating. It's just I'm analyzing. I'm looking past. at what's happening. I'm looking right? how they still act. I'm just act, analyzing yeah. how, how is it that these people can just still exist without yeah. something, you know, adjusting their behavior, and it's just they they're still able to separate themselves yeah. from real communities as real New Yorkers. Uh, 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 mind blown off of some of the shit this 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 man has said, but um, yeah, it's wild. Yeah, Hillary Clinton jumping in to just show her ass again, and it, and it's just like, what? This is the most, this is the most money spent on any house race. Yes, and it's for the primary. Yes, a safe primary of a safe New yeah. York seat. Yes, and you know what I'm saying? So it's like this <laughs> is an insane thing to do. This is a fucking insane way to operate. And like also too is like just even knowing like a lot of this money is coming through like the APAC and Israeli lobby. Yeah. There was like, you know, the Bitcoin bro throwing down millions. Um but no, yeah, at the end of the day, like you we like Americans, like we really do kind of, you know, in like the broader sense, if you listen to this, you probably already agree, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, I, like for the broader sense of Americans, you know what I'm saying? Like hold these, you know, like dude, we got to just start holding all these things in, in the same view and saying, what type of government is this? What type of society is this? You know, when everyone keeps screaming about the problem and there's just simply no way to fix it. We just no can't. Way. Sorry, the parliamentarian said no. Just evil, man. (laughs) Well, these folks are about to get addressed by, uh, you know, 
Wait, hold up. Uh, sorry, I'm reading the notes here. A oh. a foreign uh, leader of another country. Hmm, yeah. It's interesting. Well, you know. Speaking of evil, you yeah, say. Speaking of evil, <laughs> man. Um, yeah, Netanyahu about the dress Congress, huh? Uh huh. Because normal thing that should definitely be allowed. Thank you, Chuck Schumer, for inviting him in a bipartisan motion. <sighs> These people. Yeah, it's crazy, oh, man. Like I like the thing is it's it's very interesting because the Biden White House is also scared of this. They're because terrified. they don't know what the fuck he's gonna say. I, and if he's gonna try to make them look even worse. Imagine you're watching Charlie Brown, right? <laughs> And it's yeah. Lucy, and she's got the football, and Charlie Brown, but there's a slight difference, okay? Yeah. In this very similar scene, there's a Jumbotron. The Jumbotron is in Charlie Brown's viewpoint. He can see the Jumbotron, right? Yeah. And on the Jumbotron is a replaying of every time he's tried to kick the football, right? <sighs> Charlie Brown is staring at the Jumbotron. John, he looks at Lucy. Jumbotron, Lucy, he says, I have no idea what's going to happen. Right? Yeah. This is where we're at with Joe Biden. Is that Netanyahu, and, and this is where the thing is, too, is like, ally, right? USS Liberty begs to differ, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, the idea like, that this is your friend. Right? And this is where, too, it's like, just like Mitch McConnell is your old colleague and friend, right? Yeah. BB Netanyahu. Yeah. And it's just like they, these, it's the idea like, oh, we just don't know what he's saying. I know what he's saying. He's going to say, get fucked Joe Biden. It's obvious Absolutely. he's coming here to say that. Yeah. And it's crazy that you're just letting it happen. Yeah. Maybe he's going to be nice, you know? Yeah. It it is absolutely fucking wild, and this is he's, he's actively you know, like Netanyahu, a month you know being a leader of an apartheid state that is committing a genocide, an official who is like being up you know brought up for corruption charges and being saved only because of the continuation of the genocide, right? Yeah. Exacerbating the uh, other wars so that even after you stop doing the genocide, he can still stay in power, right? Yeah. All of these things told Obama to get fucked. Which is crazy. That, uh, man, I still can't get over Jim Clyburn <laughs> being anti Netanyahu just because he's pro Obama. It's the I, wildest shit to me. <laughs> I mean, hell, dog. Blind squirrel ass motherfucker, right? Well, it just, it just, again, it just yeah. speaks to this idea that everyone in the Senate is an individual, all right? Yes. Every single one of them is their own person. They're not cohesive, you know, unless and, uh, their yeah. interests align. Like all of and these people just have their own, you know, Tammy Duck Duckworth. All these people are just absolute freaks. Yeah. They're just self interest is all fuck, you know? And the idea, because, and this is where it's like, there's just well documented, right? Yeah. If I can read this shit, people in the administration, you know, the deep state people, yeah. some of them were in the room when Netanyahu told Bill Clinton to eat my ass. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Some of these, it's the same people. They were around, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. And how, what do you say? Like, Man, what are we he's doing? Gonna go, who, who knows what he's going to say? I, <laughs> I do. Yeah, I'm pretty, listen, I'm pretty certain of what's going to happen, you know? Yeah. And he's do, and that's where, too, it's like right now he's campaigning against Joe Biden. Yes. You know, that's happening right now. He is, he is only benefited if Joe Biden is out of office. And you're just like, ah, I don't know, let him come, I guess. We invited Insane. him, so no, tell that guy to fuck off. Because, and that's where it's like, you, there's just no satisfying Netanyahu. Yes, yes. Like, that's what they don't understand. Like, the dude is a murderous freak. And, like, before he got into the office, right? Like, he's a war criminal. Yeah. Right? Like, this is where it's like, they, 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 they you know, the beginning stages of the empire. Yeah. yeah. Earlier on in this country, there were a lot of people 
who made their name off of indigenous genocide. And then yeah. they were propelled to the highest parts of, of office, right? Yeah. <sighs> we just got better clothes and Wi-Fi, right? But these things are still happening. And this is who Netanyahu is, you know? Yeah. And like, and, and here you've got, but like the, the like they and I, I I don't even expect them to see Israel or Netanyahu or these other Israeli officials who just go out and scream racist genocidal things, right? They're not going to see them like I see them, right? Okay, but even for your own political experience, expediency, right? For your own careers, you all, you can't recognize the political threat, yes. or right, or you're just like willing to be a Zionist. More than you're willing to be a second, you know, a two term president, right? You're willing to be Zionist more than you are willing to hold even U.S. hegemony. Yes. Because it is the dedication to the Zionism that is not only, you know, disrupting Israel's ability to exist as the, the ethno apartheid state, mm -hmm. right? That's getting way more looks than it ever has as they commit a genocide but then also the, the 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 way you know the united states is able to interact with the world it's it has already changed you know we yeah. I, like who knows where it lands but like there there's no going back you know and so it's crazy that they're just allowing it to happen and saying we don't know yeah it's uh man <laughs> it's going to be a it's going to be a whole stupid thing. And I honestly cannot wait. Cannot wait to just see this like project continue to see fucking, you know, Joe Biden just be like, I can't believe he was mean to me. I'm privately fuming about this. All right. I am. I am mad as all get out that he was so mean to me. Can't wait. You know, I don't I don't even know that they'll say that. Cause like that's where it's like after what happens it's just like well we just don't know what he's so mad about we keep because oh, like now it's yeah, like they keep yeah. explaining might be a little bit of we, that we, as we, well. we sure, deliver sure. the weapons I just don't know why he's so mad yeah. you know and like they got the you know who is it the the gallant they were meeting with them today and you know and, and yeah pretty cool yeah pretty cool I know it's going to be country. most excited. Yeah. Not Fetterman. Not because he's pro Israel. But because they're both PA boys, baby. That's right. You know? <laughs> That's what made you stand right. Stand up. You may That's not right. know this, but That's right. Yeah. John Fetterman, like right right from outside of Philly, I believe he grew up. So Yeah. They're practically neighbors. They tied, you know, intrinsically. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah come on. Yeah. Like don't make it don't make it weird, okay? Don't make me <laughs> don't make it weird. Don't make me try it. Don't like don't like like that's my boy. They're gonna yeah, try to yeah, make yeah, me withhold yeah. weapons. Just, yeah. just, has nothing like, to do with you know his brain damage. Just make him uh, you know into into fucking Frankenstein Hitler. No no no. It's no. just no. we both enjoy going to uh, Reading Station and uh, getting nice uh, cheese steak. Yeah yeah. You know. We're just getting the steaks, you know, two guys hanging out, two guys hanging out, shipping out tons and tons of weapons. No big yeah. deal. Yeah. That's it. You know, oh, God. Oh, <laughs> it's horrible fucking it's so stupid. They're both, they're both probably fucking Geno's guys too. Disgusting. Hey, you know, and I'll, like, <laughs> let me just go ahead and terminate any any Philly yeah. any Philly uh, um, viewership or listeners that we have here. Okay, yeah, like it's a like y'all don't got to be so damn rude in the fucking shop. Okay, that's a, one and yeah, two. Okay. Like, it's not all that. All right, let people order what they want on their damn cheesesteak, and they might enjoy the cheesesteak more. But easy. like, the, Marcus, you know, I'm just crazy. saying. No, I, I'm I'm saying, I don't disagree hey, with you. Bye. Right. See you. Nice listening to you, but like, <laughs> please just relax. Okay, just yeah. relax. It's a sandwich. Hey, can I? 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 Can I be frank? Uh, John's John's roast pork is the only thing that I believe in. All right, everything else is fine. It makes a fine sandwich, but. 
Yeah, no one the wants big, no damn big cheese whiz on a sandwich, sandwich anymore. Okay, sharp, sharp provolone? No, 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 sharp provolone all the way. I, don't, I mean, yeah. cheese whiz. Come on, you can do guys. both. You can get crazy. But I understand the salt content that cheese whiz adds. <laughs> just personally, it's not not for me. I want a I want a fun, I want a funky roll. You know, yeah. I want that fucking provolone just cut. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> right. Well, I'm gonna stop there because I just, yeah. you know, I'm That's willing fair. to like, yeah, go. Yeah, right. I understand. Yeah. They're like, yeah, you know, they'll never, you know, listen yeah. again. But like, it's I like, listen, go it's on like, like it's, I understand. It's me. like fucking yeah. people from New Jersey, man. We're just like, no, oh, our bagel. Listen, nobody even has bagels in other uh, states. And you know, you you're wrong uh, about that. Like five percent of the time, most of the time, sure, uh, most bagels uh, suck in other states. But every now and then. Normally from a transplant from New York, Jersey, or New York, they, they make good well, fucking bags. This is where I heard the, the like the New York, which is like I guess like New York, New Jersey water. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh right? yeah, you got all and, the and, all the different particulates and everything. That's fine too. But well, that's I think like there are places that import New York water. Yeah. From you know, yeah. like you know, pizza yeah, places that do sure. that, bagel yeah. places that do that. Yeah, a lot so, of them. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's really, like I respect you know, it. That's that's, and, that's the extra one percent. That's not yeah. as long as you've got the technique down. You know, you're already doing pretty fucking good. As long as you know how to make a good bagel, then yeah. like there's this yeah. one, there's a place, uh, you know, in Richmond, they do like a nice like Jersey uh, bagel sandwich with the pork roll and the egg and the American cheese, salt, pepper, ketchup. Perfect. You know, something like yeah. it's just like something I would get on the turnpike. I mean, not inside of Jersey because I don't get off the turnpike, but you know, I don't eat enough breakfast sandwiches. This conversation just oh, I made love, me realize I, love I don't, that shit, I don't, I don't eat enough, you know, breakfast eggs, sandwiches. Eggs are so important. I need that I'm protein. Gonna, I'm going to change. I'm going to change that. I'm going to make that. I'm going to look inside. Yeah, you know get in saying? there. Look inside, gonna, you know, try to try to figure out like some good breakfast. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, um, yeah. Speaking yeah, of, hey. I, don't know, I got no segue for this. Speaking of liquidated well, you know, eggs, the, I don't know. Wait, 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 I got this. Okay, I got all right. this, all right? <laughs> you know, one thing, though, about eggs. Yeah. The price is getting pretty uh-huh. steep. Yeah. And who can't afford eggs anymore is okay, Alex right. Jones, because all of his shit is getting liquidated in the lawsuit. Ah, is that, 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 yeah. Very yeah. funny. It's very, listen, <laughs> and, and this is where I'd like to put in a plea right now, that if we can collectively combine forces for a GoFundMe, and get people to support us getting to the eventual auction for the InfoWars studio set. Oh, my God. If we can get some pieces of it, you know? Oh, right. Put together right. for, like, a recording studio. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's just see what we can say. You know, start picking up some good pieces, you know? Somebody some had a great idea uh, earlier. They were saying if you could get enough pieces of it and then set up, like, a fucking... Uh, a little studio in Vegas and do like a fake, you know, you know, we talk about kids Zania where it's like, pretend to be an adult. Uh, you can uh, pretend to be Alex Jones for like half yes, an hour, you know, yes. like <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. All right. Oh my The strip God. would love it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just come yeah. in say, say it's like a rage room, but for, you know, your maniacal conspiracy <laughs> thoughts that you have when you're on like too many Benadryl. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have at it. Say whatever you want in that 30 minutes in that booth, all right? Yeah. God damn it. We live yeah. in this world. It's crazy. It's but it is, listen, it is uh, incredible that he's getting absolutely fucking washed. They are, they are it, trying to pull $1.5 billion out of every single one of his assets. That's so the, fucking cool. The only thing that I'm mad at is that it took this long. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, 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 every yeah. other part of it, I love it. I yeah. well, I'd say that, and like there should just be a camera on him 24 seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I wish he was like dumb enough to think, well, well, maybe if I just started a Twitch channel, I'll be able to make <laughs> uh, get some incoming funds, right? But it's just yeah. like literally, it's he like will, every he fucking, would love a 24 day subathon. <laughs> it's for every you know? 20, like, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's like every sub just goes to the <laughs> to the Sandy Hook families and shit like that. <laughs> but yeah, like I I want to also see like some type of breakdown in his mind as well. But no, it's and yeah, get it all. And that's where it's like these motherfuckers. Like get where I hate the simps. You know, yeah. 
Like that's where too, it's just like one of the things that kind of just gets under my skin is not just like there's horrific people, but there are little, just little nasty pieces of shit that will never accept anything and will always defend these people even though they will never help them. You know, yeah. Alex Jones never paid their rent. And the thing is too, it's like where there's a lot of these guys is that your relationship to Alex Jones has replaced all your other relationships. Yeah, but they <laughs> and, see him, yeah. you know, it's politics could be a little livy sometimes, but I think the boys, the most finger on the pulse moment that he has is at the very end of that last season uh, in season three, where All these fucking people are standing out there, right, in the square, and Homelander just fucking unloads, you know? And when he does, he's worried. You can see the fear in his eyes. It's like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. And the people fucking eat it up, and they love that shit because they want to be him, all right? And that's the exact same thing that Alex Jones, Donald Trump, all these other people have as well, is they love that power fantasy of being the guy and the only reason that this happened alex jones right now is because the fucking the the matrix or whatever has him on the ropes all right these people have to take him out of power because of how much he speaks truth to power how fucking close he got you know yeah and that's where like they they have to believe that shit on you know this is something that's read up where you see it you know at least i you know i saw this you know oh this is you know with QAnon and like openly saying you know you know they continue to say the more people push back against you the more you're right correct the more people, you know and they would just continually tell and like that's kind of that self-built feedback loop of every time that even it's just like hey you know hey uncle jerry you think you think maybe you might be re- you know reading into this a little too much just even that and uncle jerry is now 10 times more into it right yeah, absolutely because like as soon as you think oh is my is his nephew jimmy is he one of them right yeah, and like that hard did they uncle recruit jerry, him you yeah, may not even know uncle jerry's yeah. reeling yeah um and 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 that's the thing in like where 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 you say you're like and I agree with where you say like they like they the, the simp wants to be that person in power yeah and they don't see the relationship of that person in power hurting them right that they yeah. still see it as like they just like well yeah I just want to be the person in power yeah. hurting and dominating yeah you know that's that you know like being hurt is why I want to not be me you know. Not that I deserve to not be hurt. Right. I just want to be in the dominant yes. position. Yeah, and yeah. It's yeah. like this crazy thing of like, well, they're just they will just take it. You know, they yeah. will take punishment. They will take the their interactions, forcing the rest of the people out of their lives. You know, because they're just chasing after that idea that they'll never have. You know, yeah. and then if you see, you look at Alex Jones and like, where is he now? Yeah, where did they all get you? All oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's it. Man. That's all I got. What are your uh what are your final thoughts? What are you looking forward to, Marcus? <sighs> well, I mean, Silver looking line. forward. I mean, I am I'm looking forward to the debate. Yeah. Um just just to see you know, all of the moments that like their their teams are terrified are happening. I'm watching specifically hoping that those will happen. Um, you know, them two fighting in the bleachers would be like like the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Nice. Um and uh I think yeah, that's 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 kinda all I got. Nice. Yeah. What about yeah. you? Um, yeah, the debates as well. No, I'm just kidding. It's Tech Mobile, okay? I'm week 10 right now with the Houston Oilers. Warren Moon has a cannon for an arm, okay? Oh, I'm 9 and 1. Are they going the up only... to six, is it, is it, is it, I don't, I can't, is it a 16 week schedule? Or yeah, yeah, four, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All yeah. right, all right, all I'm, right. Hey, I'm, last stretch. You can't let the boys 
You well, know the what only, listen, the only the only resistance that I've met so far is, uh, of course, uh, the Phillies. They uh, the Eagles. They had a fucking monster mm. year back in the mm. back in ninety ninety one. Yeah. Um. You know, well, I haven't played the Raiders yet, so I'm a little worried about that as well. But past that, oh damn, yeah, smooth sailing. Hey, yeah, smooth sailing past anybody else. Honestly, <laughs> I got Childress on the uh, on the front line. You know, just busting through seven quarterback sacks a game. Crazy. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow i read the i read the lines you know what i mean that's right just uh tear apart we used to have a proper country <laughs> let's just go back to techno bowl things used to be better we used to just settle things yeah. i mean that was it man when i was a kid we'd settle shit over tech techno bowl you know my brother man, and i had a you're... fight i'm like all right up on preseason game let's do it there was a reverse for what was the boxing game mm. fight night yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Where like when 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 me and my friends were having good do too good of a time and yeah. like we wanted to fight each other we we you know we'd first start playing fight night and then yeah. it just happens right like yeah. hey we're yeah. being yeah. too friendly we need yeah. to be toxic let's play fight night for a yeah. few hours and then like literally like no oh, you're cheating <laughs> <laughs> it was all listen those were, when you say we used to be a better i i contend that you know i think ginger said something to uh to the affirmative the other day she was like back when we had things like nba jam you know tech mobile all these i don't want to play realistic sports games i want all right i want to play very yeah. distinct like you know toxic motherfucking games where yeah. i can sit down and i can pick bo jackson and just absolutely destroy my friend because he was too slow to pick the fucking raiders all right yeah <laughs> that's what i want his stats are like 30 plus that's more right. than anybody else in the field i'm picking on job every yeah. time every i don't time. care that's what i want we we don't have those types of games anymore okay everything's woke woke has made it so that everything's balanced oh my i want to i want to pick the uh it, oh god the light in my eyes when one of my friends shows up that doesn't understand that pain yet oh yeah like, oh, oh right. yeah oh first time playing <laughs> yeah no, don't oh, worry no. this will be fun it's great i'll even let him win one round you know yeah. and then yeah get the confidence up right <laughs> the Man. roller coaster is not exciting unless you bring them up nice and high yeah 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 yeah, yeah exactly i want to i want to kill that i want to fucking kill that light in their eyes you know yeah a dream that they had yeah. <sighs> a proper country yeah oh, oh man well <laughs> 23 yeah we'll be uh better every week better every week we'll be back uh next week with 24 you know uh with with fresh insights from uh this debate and also better understanding for what a kind uh a character that benjamin netanyahu was to uh to biden actually yeah yeah well you know hit the buttons like subscribe uh follow do all the things i'll tell soon peace Bye.